news from Jamaica and some children hospitalized after eating the ganja. And uh, apparently, apparently, apparently we got some we got some, you know, some rules that they got to follow uh, with the cannabis out there when we make these new products. Uh, so this one's coming from um, BBC News. More than 60 children have been taken to the hospital in Jamaica after eating sweets containing cannabis, the country's first education minister uh, said. Faval Williams wrote on X, formerly Twitter, that the primary school pupils were from the St. Anne's Bay Area, about 80 kilometers from the capital, Kingston. She said some children experienced vomiting and, hallucin <laughs> and hallucinations. I bet they did. Uh, none are reported to be in serious condition. The doctors and nurses are all doing all they can to ensure the students recover, Miss Williams wrote on X, adding that several of the children had to be put on intravenous IV drips. One little boy said he, he only had one sweetie. That's how potent this product is. Danger. Ms. Williams said the children were all from St. Anne's Bay Primary, but local news agency have reported that students from a nearby Ocho Rios Primary School were affected. The children are thought to be between the ages of 7 and 12. The principal of the, later, of the latter school told the Jamaica Observer uh, that, the loan, that a loan vendor had some sweets, uh, sold some sweets to his, to his students. The head of St. Anne, Anne's Police Department, Senior Superintendent Dwight Powell, has urged the person or anyone with has urged any person or anyone with any information about uh, about this incident to contact them uh, directly. Ms. Williams posted photos of the product packaging, which is thought to have contained the sweets, which specifies that they are not to be sold to minors. Each is said to contain 100 milligrams of psychoactive substance delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinol, which is generally considered to be a high dose for an adult. According to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, delta-8 has intoxicating effects. The sweets, which were not FDA-approved, were produced by a company based in the, United, uh, the U.S. state of California, where cannabis is legal. Jamaica decriminalized the possession of small amounts of cannabis, also known as marijuana, for personal use in 2015. However, Health Minister Christopher Tufton told the Jamaica Star that the government did not allow the import of edibles, con uh, edibles containing the drug. The incident comes more than a week after around 90, filled, uh, 90 children fell ill in South Africa after eating drug-laced muffins that officials say they had bought from a street vendor. And that's the story. That's the monitors on it. Reporting for High Nine News. What do you think about Delta 8 on the islands, man? Yo, did it, did it say that? I have so. Did I hear you? Did I hear you wrong when it, when it said that the, the, the teacher sold these to the kids? No, 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 no. That you heard no. me wrong. I'm high. <laughs> I'm definitely high today. Bro, that's teacher's got to earn. No, okay, I, 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 didn't, I didn't read that in the article. This is, but it, <laughs> this is insane. No, there was a vendor. But I didn't hear you say that. There was a lone vendor. There was a lone okay. vendor. No. The oh. vendor outside of the school, though. But my concern is that. These labels, these packaging can come from anywhere. You can buy mm -hmm. the packaging on Amazon. You can buy it from anybody and actually Alibaba. put whatever you want, whatever edible or whatever flower you want inside of a package that has California printed on it or runts or cookies or whatever. Um, I've seen them. I see I see these packaging in Trinidad. I see pictures of it on the chat that I'm on. Like it, this, this product gets everywhere. And if it is the actual product, it hasn't gone through testing. <laughs> Nobody knows that that's actually what it is. And so it's dangerous that this type of narrative gets out there because we don't know what was ever in the package actually came from California. Right. Mm -hmm. I want to comment on something here about the packaging and stuff like that. Um, when alcohol and, and tobacco and stuff was, you know, brought up and all that went in, right? You're talking like um, they had these, they had to enact things to make sure people wouldn't, you know, take it out the back. And then they put hefty like times on it. So people had to like, people had, you know, big enforcement and stuff like that, you know? So it's like, that's what we're lacking right now a little bit is the, the lackadaisical approach to this. So you have a risk reward. 
And so when you have people with no slap on the wrist, you know, being able to do whatever they want, they can print packages however they want, they can do whatever they want. There's no repercussions. And that's what we're hoping for with like the federal approach and some of this other, you know, people coming in is they're going to make, you know, as soon as they make the safe banking and they do all this stuff goes through, right? The next things are going to be like, hey, man, no more bogus packaging. Hey, and if we catch you out the back, then, you know, that's like the Rico thing or something, you know, it's, it'll be it'll they'll, they'll be doing something. But I'll tell you that, what, that's the package for all of the all the production that's going on. There's no way that it's sustainable with as many retails that are currently open as of today. That's no. just not where we have a New York situation basically I, going I on. Mean, out I mean, yeah. I don't even think the packaging is a real issue. The real yeah. issue is that, like, there's all these hoops to jump through if you're a legal cannabis business. And for anybody that's a hemp business or whatever, they can convert CBD to Delta A and to Delta 9 and sell it um, in where whatever state or whatever country and get it through customs because it's not thc from cannabis that's which a is, joke is right whole, isn't that a joke it's a joke that's it's a, a joke. joke yeah it's a joke it's the dumbest thing oh. ever yeah. <laughs> it just, what it is about though is it's the big THC. purge i feel you know like they're doing this on purpose and they know that's why they're changing it and then the, who's left after the dust settles so it's all value and who it is it's it's like this big corporate consolidation and they did it with the fishing industry on the east coast where that one guy went and bought up all the rights for the fishing and the boating and then you look at the harbor and the guy owns all the boats all the little fishing tickets so he gets to catch all the fish and then you have a monopoly and then you drive the price back up this is a play like this is we, we, what's funny is we knew this was going to happen when in 2017 we were like, oh, we got to last five years. They're going to drive it through the floor and then swoop it all up. And people are going to either age out, get bought out, sell out, whatever. And then we're going to drive it right back up. And that's where we're at right now. You know, there's no yep. it's so this year and I'm going to kind of off subject right now. Mm -hmm. and I'm sorry, but this year is is over is underproduced. You know, we're in drought drought again. And there's nowhere in sight it's going to go through 2024. So it's it's just a yeah. weird time, you know, and, and nobody's talking about this. But, yeah, all of the consolidation of the licenses go to, like, old white people, you know? Like, this is just old yep. white people that own these companies. It's old money. You're not seeing family farms no more. You're not seeing the small guy. And it's hard for the small guy to expel that to the people and say, hey, this is who I am. I'm the small guy. You want to support me, you know, to, you know, because the corporate has blurred themselves with craft. And now we have corporate craft and they have this fake wood grain that's hard for people to decipher between who to support and not, you know, and that's just but anyway. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, nah, you're all good, yeah. Pete. No, you're good, man. You know, you're speaking the gospel, bro. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yes, indeed. Eight, yes, three. indeed. Final, 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 final word on this one, anybody? You got this one, Gretchen? Final word? I'm good. You're good? Gretchen's amazing. We're about to end on time today. It's 102. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>